Uh, my computer technical difficulties matches the mood of the New York Knicks in tonight's game. As we unfortunately lose 90 to 87. It's been a tough stretch. And I thought I was going to gash you up and come back with a win and say, yeah, we back. But it did not happen that way. When you go through a tough stretch, games like tonight happen. That's the negative side of going, being in a funk. Uh, you have a game like tonight where, you know, the effort was there. You know, everything else was there except the late game execution. Um, again, being led by uh, the second unit, uh, Obi Toppin especially, but a lot of help there from, um, I thought Derrick Rose got the thing uh, rolling, um, you know, and then, yeah, and then Obi Toppin and everybody else followed the fast break points. The differential was 21 to them, 9 to us. Uh, so you knew that they were going to be on the move, and I feel like that's what helped us uh, in that second quarter was the defense that turned into offense. The big thing that we were talking about was the second chance points. We cannot give up as many second chance points as we we did. Um, it's crazy how they were able to, in I think in, in two or three separate occasions, they gave up three offensive rebounds in each of those times. The Toronto Raptors are actually second in the NBA in offensive rebounds. But what was disappointing about that CK is they were missing about seven offensive rebounds tonight without OG, uh, without Precious, uh, and Ken Birch. So even with those three players X'd out, you know, the Raptors were still dominating um, on that end. In the end, you know, we're not executing in key situations. We seem like we don't know who we want to go to. And then when we do go to, you know, for example, Julius Randle, they're not productive possessions. Yeah, and and uh, that, that's the story. Scotty Barnes with 15 boards, Siakam to 12, with 12, and then to your point, Gary Trent Jr., leading scorer. With 24, uh, the Knicks or RJ Barrett specifically gets the rebound, um, go straight to the rim. Uh, I thought which was the right thing because you saw all four or at least uh, three of the four players that were down there um, go down with him. And then he passed it out to, uh, to me, a uh, wide open Julius Randle because I know you're going to say, well, you know, uh, Malachi Flynn was there. I, I don't care. He was damn near butt naked open uh, from that shot. Unfortunately, that thing went in. And out. This is what is becomes the story of this team, CK, mm -hmm. when we talk about the next level, when we talk about, you know, getting that player in crunch time, it showed in that last possession because we got our number three overall pick, our young, you know, our young uh, player that we hope can elevate into a very good player. He proved that he wasn't the option. And then we pass it to our current best player. And, you know, it's a wide open three, but... Randall this year is not shooting the three well. Obviously, Obi was blacking out from the minute he got into the game. Mm -hmm. And at this point, yo, we have no choice, man. You got to play the kid and, and let him get some minutes. Everybody thought I was ducking the show because my guy Burks came up with one lousy point tonight. I was and that wasn't, the yeah. that, wasn't the <laughs> right. that wasn't the case. That wasn't the case. That wasn't the case. But like I said in the beginning, the Burks at the point guard thing is not going to work. He's not a point guard. He can play point guard. That's two different things. He can play the position, but he's not the he's not our ideal point guard, man. Tibbs, you, you're taking him away from his strengths. He needs to just come in the game and get buckets for us. Mm. And, and that that's best part of the reason why the offense isn't good. At this point, we, we might just have to throw Rose in there, man. That's what I'm thinking. You know what I'm saying? We got to throw Rose in there. And if he can't finish, he can't finish. But we we, we got to get off to better starts and get some better flow, man. Because part of the reason the energy is lackluster is just because we just – obviously, there's no flow to the offense. Bergs has to concentrate on getting buckets. That is his job. Let D. Rose come in, take the pressure off Julius. But he could also play make. And you got to get him in there with Obi. Get Obi in there early, man. And you have Rose, Obi running, Julius, R.J., and then yeah, I'm putting Fournier on the bench, man. I, I told you all this from the other Thank day. I'm you. putting him on the bench. A big announcement uh, for the people who haven't heard. Tomorrow night, we're taking a show to WFAN 660, 1019 FM, 660 AM. Uh, download the Odyssey app for those of you guys that are not in the tri-state area. I'm going on live on WFAN at, at 10 p.m. Eastern time. Ian Begley's going to join me around uh, 1040 or so. So make sure you guys tune in. Make sure you guys call in. I need you to break the switchboard over there. Let them know. Number one show for the fans by the fans. We travel everywhere taking you out with me, man. So make sure you guys are tuning in.
And uh, yeah, man, it's gonna it's gonna be a great show. I'm on there at ten o'clock, ten and twelve, and we gonna we gonna be talking Knicks, man, on WFAN. Tibbs, you're sixty five, bro. You're sixty five, and you're notorious for not embracing death. I'm not putting Randall back in the game. Why is Evan Fournier even in the game? Why is he in the game? What is he? What did he do? Can anybody in the chat explain to me what Evan Fournier did to stay on the court for the last four minutes of a game? Because he can't guard me. This this franchise. It has to stop with these band-aids of just every five to ten years, they have a good year, and then they go all in in that one good year. So when December 15th came, I told y'all two weeks ago. I, actually, I apologize. I told y'all a week ago. We could lose every game until December 15th. The chance is coming into the Garden, and they just had a struggle against the Rockets, and they just lost in Miami. You're good. We're going to get whooped. I'm going to let y'all know. So don't, don't, no moral victories. Enough of that. This is bad. I'm ready to officially get Turner, and I don't care what anybody in the chat says. I'm not reading it. I'm ready to get Turner. I'm ready to flip him. You know why I'm getting Turner? Because Turner actually has a pulse at center, and I actually can make, I don't know, a post move in the paint. I can actually stretch the floor, and you fit my timeline. That's what Ari's talking about. Timeline. Everybody at the same age. He just turned 25. If your name's not KD, if your name's not LeBron James, if your name's not Steph Curry, or if your name's not Luka Doncic, big game winners, like last-minute shot makers, and the fourth, when you know it's going to them. If you are missing that shot, I don't want to see you laugh, bro. It ain't nothing funny. It's not funny. That's not funny to me, especially when you're getting your sad on and you make a Chris Boucher and, and, and Scotty Barnes look like you're a role player. That's not funny to me. But uh, yeah, you guys know the vibes. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. You can listen to us everywhere on the audio only version. You know that we will also be uh, playing this over again tomorrow. So shout out to all you guys watching the VOD version. We appreciate you guys. Uh, make sure you guys call in tomorrow, WFAN, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's your boy CK2K with my man JD talking sports here on Knicks Fan TV. And we are out of here. Let's get a damn dub over the weekend.